we're going to be frank. Can we be frank? Um, one of the things that I hear from a lot of women a lot of the time is, oh, I can't do it. I'm too old to be in front of the camera. I'm too fat. I hate my body. My hair is awful. I don't like to wear makeup. Oh my God, my roots are showing. Listen, nobody understands this more than me. I was um, on photo shoots as a stylist for 15 years. I was younger. Well, I was skinny. I didn't have wrinkles, right? I had everything. And even then, I didn't think I had it. So here's the thing. People are people. Every age, every size, every point of your life, we're all people. If you hold on to who you used to be, instead of going forward with who you are right now, you are missing so much out in life. So what you really, really need to do is to be able to just be happy in your skin. I mean, maybe it's not perfect, right? Maybe maybe my circles weren't so dark once, my wrinkles weren't so big. Maybe I really did wear a size four jeans once. Maybe I will one day again soon, but right now it's kind of not the case. I'm trying to do the best that I can right now. So I'm putting this pretty background behind you. So you'll see it. But the point is when you, it's really hard. I'm trying to get me and the background. Uh, okay, so when you are confident in your skin, when you're actually feeling that you're accepting who you are, you're making yourself much more open, much more free to be able to do these things that you are otherwise holding yourself back on. And just keep in mind, maybe the person who's being like super judgy that you're not a size two anymore and you're not 26 and you just don't wake up putting your grateful journal in whatever what's that thing they do every day with grateful journals i don't know i'll do that so maybe the person who is expecting you to be all that is not your person and the person who wants you to be who you are at this point in your life how you are in this point of your life is your person right like look at look at martha stewart she's not a spring chicken and we love her and she looks gorgeous look at oprah she's not a skinny mini and we love her and she's fabulous and it's just like look at leaders look at women who you admire and i bet if you look at women who are successful who you admire most of them will be a little older because they've accomplished something. They might not be model skinny anymore or even ever were, and they're happy in who they are. Like, look at the model Ashley Graham, I mean, in her body acceptance. So it's just like, don't think about all the have-nots that you have. Just think about all the haves. No, you look awful. Like right now, this light is moving on me, and I'm sure I'm not looking that good as I did about 15 minutes ago, but that's totally cool. I want you to come in with this message to you right now, and I think it's a super important message so just don't let who you used to be hold you back from who you are now because you're giving yourself the biggest disservice you can stand up be proud be tall be true to who you are become your own authentic superstar and just guess what I happen to have a free five-day challenge called Authentic Superstar, and you can join me right there at AuthenticSuperstar.com, and I'll help you show up in photos and understand that you just need to be the best at being you today. Not last year, not six months ago, not 10 years ago, but today. Accept who you are today, and your tribe will follow. Mwah! You'll just feel better too, right? It's just miserable being wishing you were something else right and if it's something that you could fix if you could do something about it we well, could do it and if not just be the best at being you okay see you guys soon bye bye